Hello all my Hollow Maniacs out there. Welcome back to the channel. It's so great to see you again. And I know you're sitting there going, wait, didn't you just upload a Frankie Voices today? Yes, I did. But something happened and I have to make another video because uh, the latest trailer to the Christopher Robin movie came out. I'm sorry if you can hear like mowing or blowing. They're doing garden work outside, but I had to do this and I had to do this now. Um, I've never really done a trailer reaction video before, but I, I saw this trailer and I just got so excited for it and so emotional about it that I'm like, I have to do the reaction video. I have to. So this isn't my first viewing of it. I kind of wish it was, but it's not because I've never done one before. But I think after this I might do it just because, oh, there's something about this. But I'm going to get to that later. But first, let's just, let's just watch the trailer. Oh, let's just watch the trailer. What should happen? Jim Cummings! Jim Cummings' voice! I love the fact that they included that line. Because that was in the original film. Oh, it was perfect. I promised my wife and daughter I'd take them away this weekend. All hands on deck. You won't be coming to the cottage. Well, it can't be helped. Your life is happening now, right in front of you. Yeah, they kind of go on the hook method with this. But just this! What to do indeed. Poo! Who? Christopher Robin. No. The this... I remember was in the countryside, not here in London. I'm just so excited for this, guys. Does the tree like show up? I love that. Why are you here? Oh, yes, but I need your help. I've lost all of my friends. He has to find his friends. Oh. Oh. It would appear that I am stuck. Have you just eaten honey? <laughs> I love it. To where I'm going by walking away from where I have been. I love his simple logic. I love it so much. And Brad Garrett's Eeyore is wonderful. I'm so excited for that. So nice to see you all again. Why, thank you. Silly old bear. I'm so excited. I was wrong about everything. I'm so excited. Farewell. I feel like I'm just gonna ball my eyes out of this movie. Perhaps it's our turn to save oh. Christopher. They're gonna save Christopher! Oh, I love it so much. You must be Madeline. Wait, you're the bear of my father's drawings. <laughs> yes. Do you know where he is? I do. <laughs> Let's bounce! See? Now, on, on IMDB, I thought they said that Jim Cummings wasn't doing the voice of Tigger, but that's cl clearly Jim Cummings. And I'm so excited for that. Clap. Now is the time to do it. <laughs> oh, Piglet! Oh, boy. Oh, dear, dear. I don't remember. I'm so excited! <laughs> and that is nothing Jim nothing Cummings. Is possible, but I do nothing every day. No, Pooh, that's not the... Oh, I love it. I love it. <sighs> Guys, I don't know what it is about this trailer. I don't know what it is about this movie, but there, I think it's just the spirit of Pooh himself that I just, I fall in love with. When I was a kid, I was like, ah, Pooh's cool. He's all right. He's not, I got nothing against him, but it's weird. I like him more as an adult than I did as a kid. It's just that simple, pure logic that he runs on, the whole world runs on, that there's something just so charming and so endearing about that. And I feel like, this, uh, just poo, he just rings the quintessential idea of what Walt always claimed. He had a quote that I have memorized because it is a quote that I love so much and it's how I make my videos, it's how I do my work. What he always said was, we never aim for kids and we never aim for adults. We aim at that clean, unspoiled spot down deep inside every single one of us that maybe the world has made us forget and our films can help recall. And I feel like Pooh does that in spades. I'm, I just realized I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt. I'm about to go see Solo later today. You know, I wish I was wearing a Winnie the Pooh shirt, you know, to watch this, but they don't make Winnie the Pooh shirts for an adult's Disney. If you're watching, give us adult Winnie the Pooh shirts. I want one. <laughs> I've always wanted one, that and Dumbo while you're at it, but, you know, that's, uh, I don't know what it is about Pooh. Just the more I watch him, the more I do impressions of him, the more I get into his head, the more I fall in love with this character. And this, uh, I'm so excited about this. 
I don't know why, and when I when they first announced it, I was like, oh, okay, that sounds cute, you know. You got some Toy Story 3 potential in there, okay, we're good. But now that I'm seeing it, I'm just falling in love with this thing. Like, right now, I am so excited for this. I've never been this excited for a movie before. And I'm, oh my gosh, why am I so excited for this? But I am. Oh my gosh, it is now like right at the top of my list of must-see films for this year. Beating all the other big blockbusters, it's just sitting right up there at top. I'm just like, I have to see this. I have to see this opening day. I just, I have to do it immediately just because I'm, I'm going to, this is now going to be like one of my favorite movies. I'm calling it now. I'm just going to fall in love with this thing. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. Now, I know that when the first trailer came out, a lot of people were freaking out about the way Pooh looked. They're like, oh, he looks creepy. Oh, he looks terrifying. No. Uh, you guys do realize that A.A. A. Milne's book, Winnie the Pooh, is kind of-ish based off of a true story. Now, obviously, there's not a bear that comes to life, but Christopher Robin was a real little boy who did have his stuffed animal named Winnie the Pooh. And that is exactly what his Winnie the Pooh looks like with a few liberties. They made him look a little bit more like the cartoon version, but at its core, that's what his poo looked like. It's like, I think he's uh, his poo is on display in the New York library, I think? Or maybe it was like a replica or something. I'm surprised it's not in England where everything took place. But uh, still, that's what his poo looked like. So that was being very respectful and just, it just, oh. It helps you remember that these are stuffed animals because they're so lifelike you forget that they are. And it's just, ugh. I'm so excited for this, guys. I didn't think I would be this excited, but there's just something about poo. There's something about poo that's just, man. There's something about poo that I just absolutely adore. Oh, oh brother. But one of the things I'm most excited about is that Jim Cummings is doing the voice of Pooh. And it's in the trailer, that was Tigger. He was doing Tigger, too. But in IMDb, it says that he's not doing Tigger. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it was just for the trailer. Maybe they changed their mind, and now he is doing it for the movie. If so, I hope so. But just Jim Cummings is phenomenal. He is my favorite voice actor, and I'm so glad he is getting the recognition he deserves by being in a big budget feature like this. So... Jim Cummings, big applause to you. I'm so happy for you. And I just, I'm so, this could not have happened to a better voice actor. I'm so excited for you. And I was so scared when they announced this movie that they were going to make Winnie the Pooh sound like just some big name celebrity. And I was like, no, it is Jim Cummings or nothing. And they went with Jim Cummings. So applause to you, Mr. Cummings. I'm so glad that happened to you. Just... I mean, I doubt you're watching this, but if you are, I'm highly doubtful that, but if you are, congratulations, sir. That was well-deserved. You are a fantastic voice actor, and you are one of the primary reasons that I'm a voice actor today. So I just want to give you my big props. So I have nothing else to say about this. I'm just, I'm just in love with this movie now, and it hadn't even come out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more trailer reactions. This just kind of popped out of nowhere. I just felt like I had to do this. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye!